Now let's continue entering data for the one-line diagram we just created. Let's first begin with entering the voltage information for this module. Let's click on the transformer, go to the rating page, and for the primary, let's put 13.8 kV. On the secondary, let's put 4.16. And for MVA, let's put 10. When you click on the Max MVA box, ETAP will automatically take that as 10. ETAP also provides typical built-in values for various parameters. For example, click on the typical Z and X over R to populate typical percentage impedance and X over R for the transformer. Select OK. As you can see, bus 1 and 2 nominal voltages have been automatically updated. Display annotations can be moved on the one line. You can even pick a preferred location and have that set as your default. All you have to do is right click the desired device and then select Set Default Annotation Position. After, for existing devices, you can right click and select Use Default Annotation Position. Now, if we go to the power grid and select the rating page, we can see that the KV was also updated for this element. Now, if we select our induction machine and go to the nameplate page, we'll see that the KV was automatically selected as NEMA standard rating. Now, let's enter the horsepower for this item. Let's pick 500. Now when we click inside another box, we'll see that ETAP automatically updated the percentage of efficiency, power factor, the amps, the KVA, and other information there based on manufacturer or NEC data. Now we're ready to run a load flow analysis. So let's click the load flow analysis mode button along the top. As you can see, our element toolbar on the right will change. We'll select the top one to run our load flow. ETAP will then prompt you for an output report name. In this case, we'll just call it load flow. Then you'll see the load flow calculation has been completed. The results are displayed on the one line diagram.